They've got a match. Dave, I, I don't know if I can do this, but they want me in the ring for this. Watch yourself up there, Michael. Uh, in the ring right now, we've got uh, we've got the bar room set set up uh, because of the bar room brawl match, which is coming up this week. As you can see, with us laughing, you're looking at the two happiest men in the world today because Christmas came early for the brawlers. You know why? Because we have finally, out of all the record wrestling organizations we've been to, yeah, baby, none of them, them none them, of them, baby. I say none of them, ever let us have a barroom brawl. And now the USWA finally Woo. sanctioned it. So we're just happy and Christmas is early. And Christmas Jeff time, Jarrett, baby. Christmas time's early today. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, Robert Fuller, go to the gym, boys. Pump out, get down there and do about 400 pounds on that bench press. Do them lap pulls with about 250 pounds. Because you know what, boys? It's not going to make any difference. We've been brawling all every night in the bar room, so you boys go to the gym. It's not going to help you a bit. And once again, we will be the people's champions. Tell them about it. Let me tell you something. Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett, the end is coming soon. And if you people will be the quiet end. and give us the some end. respect out here, let me tell you what. Fuller and Jarrett, you might be the champions, but coming soon, boys, you sign them belts up because they're coming back because you're coming into our home. This is like our house right here, baby. We're going to take your head and we're going to smash it in these chairs, into this bar, into these tables. And when it's all done, baby, y'all are going to the hospital and we're going to be the world tag champions just like everybody out here wants us to be, baby. That's right. That's and look are. into these eyes, baby. Eyes, I'm not telling eyes. you nothing that ain't true, baby. Look we're going to beat you and we're going to put you out of wrestling once and for all. And we're going to do it brawler style, baby. Mean and nasty. Bank on it. it. Barroom brawl this week. The brawlers against Jeff Jarrett and Robert Fuller. We'll take a break. More USWA action is coming up. Michael, well done with the uh, barroom brawlers up here in the ring. I tell you what I'd like to do is get uh, Jeff and Robert out here and... Uh, Get their comments on this match coming up. You've got bar stools, you got the bar, you got some big old garbage cans here. You've got uh, some tables and some folding metal chairs. Boy, those have come into play before. Right there, Jeff Jarrett, Robert Fuller. You see that belt that Jeff's got with him. They are the world tag team champions. They got those USWA belts back again. And Jeff, we're awful glad to see that championship belt in your hand. Well, not only you, Dave, but myself and Robert are also happy that we do, we are the new USWA Tag Champs. You know, I want to clear up a little things about last week. Me and Robert were a little upset with the USWA and didn't exactly agree with the ruling that they uh, uh, let, let out and uh, they stripped us to the belts because we got disqualified. But now all that's finished. Boys, you found out what a real Tennessee street fight was, and we got the belts back around our waist where they belong. Now we're going to talk about uh, uh, coming up the, the, the match we got this week. And I'm really excited about it because it's a barroom brawl. You know, on, on one hand, I was upset with the USWA, but now on the other hand, I'm sort of excited. Because nowhere in the world would the, w w could you find a match of this type. It's a barroom brawl, as you can see. You've got stools, trash cans, bottles. Yeah, and hopefully this time I'll be on the giving end instead of the receiving. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of everything, uh, other type of matches that the USWA sanctioned. They've had the uh, uh, empty arena match. Right. They've had the, they were the first to have the scaffold match, first to have the triple chance battle royal. There's an awful lot of things, and that just shows you about what type of promotion the USWA is. As a matter of fact, we got a group from Philadelphia here today. And they could have gone, they could have gone to any organization in the country. But no, they decided to come down here and just check out the USWA. Now, boys, you better get ready because myself and Robert, we are the USWA tag champs, and we know what to expect. Yeah, you run your mouth and say you've been in this bar and that bar and beat up everybody from coast to coast. Well, we're just going to find out match time just how tough you are in a bar room. Robert, I, uh, I was, the bar room brawl doesn't seem to be backing you up at all. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, it, it's not scaring me a whole heck of a lot. First time I went in the bar room, I snuck in, I was about 16 years old, <laughs> and I had a fight the first time that I went in the bar room. It's nothing different to me. But I'll tell you this, I know Jeff, you know, he didn't hung around a lot of unsavory places like that. I can tell him this, 
If there's a bottle sitting on top of this table up here, there's one thing for sure, Jeff, it's going to get used. And if it's going to get used, it's going to get used by the Tennessee stud and his partner, Jeff Jarrett. We're not going to be sitting back waiting to get hit by this stuff that you see out here. I'll tell you the way I see it, all of the stuff you see sitting right here is going to be laying in a big old pile of shambles when the thing's done. It's all going to be broken all to pieces. We're going to have to figure out whose head it's going to go on. I'm going to guarantee you this. It's not going on this head right here. Uh, Jeff, you're going to have to get it in your head. It's like the old boy said out here a little earlier. This ain't working out at the gym, and it's not training for a wrestling match that we're used to going in and, and training for. This is a total different thing. To me, it has absolutely nothing to do with wrestling. There's no takedowns going to happen out here. What's going to happen, those bottles you see on the table are going to be smashed against your heads, barroom brawlers. You think you're so bad, now we're going to find out just how bad you are. You boys brag about barroom fighting. I'm going to guarantee you something. Jeff Jarrett and Robert Fuller are the world's tag team champions. The day we get beat is the day you won't see us as partners anymore. We've said that before and we darn well mean it. And I'm going to guarantee you something, boys. The likes of you nasty, grubby, good for nothing. Call yourself the Barroom Brawlers are not going to be the team that separates us nor beats us. I don't give a darn if it's in a fight out here using everything you see in this ring or just get down dirty any way you want to do it. You are not going to beat the world's tag team champions. Get that in your head now, son, because on top of your head is going to be all this stuff you won't be thinking too good after the match. And one last thing, Dave. One last thing. There are no pinfalls, boys. The match is over, and I want you to get in this year's little pea brain head. The match is over, not from a one, two, three. It's when you can't answer the bell. It's going to be a ten count, boys. You better be planning on being down for more than ten. That's it. Jeff Jarrett, Robert Fuller, they are the world champions. And here's how they became USWA world champions last time around. Four are able to get up with the cowboy team. Fires away on both the brawlers here. Jared in, four in, all four men going to the nail now. The ball is on four. Put the Tennessee stud through the roof out on that concrete floor. The brawlers fire the golden door into the roof. He gets the clothesline. 